Hello dear viewer and welcome back to Stardew Valley. I just was looking at this screen again and I realized the bombs only make you 50 each and considering their ingredients, my word. Uh, so Stardew Valley's bombs are economically apparently uh, not nearly as uh, valuable to most of the residents of Stardew Valley, which makes sense. So it's hilarious because this is a good economics lesson in the fact that the dwarf knows exactly who to sell the bombs to and how much they're willing to buy them for Stardew Valley residents and stuff. <laughs> Even though apparently he doesn't understand the value of property. So, anyway, that's just funny. Let's go to the next day. Da 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 da. Feast of the Winter Star. Etc. Etc. I've got Mayor Lewis's hot pepper ready, and we'll do that shortly. Expect a few inches of snow tomorrow. Okay. Ah, uh, yes, I can hear the spirits whispering to me. The spirits are very happy today. Okay, so I was doing some research on Stardew, and yes, this affects the base luck. Uh, we should have some decent luck today. That's uh, like point one higher chance of finding ladders and better stuff. Okay, living off the land, what have you got for me? I've got an announcement to make. This is the last new episode of Living Off the Land before my retirement. I've had a good time, and I'll miss you folks. Oh, and I've been told the station's going to start playing reruns next year. Take care. Aw, that guy was helpful. Well, thank you for your time. So yeah, we've got this room from our improvements. Uh, it is the Feast of the Winter Star. I've got my pepper somewhere. Yeah, right there. Do not accidentally select bombs. We've learned that the hard way multiple times. And I was hoping Mara would talk to me, but you know, you know. That's nice too, I suppose. Uh, glazed yams. We could make some more. But I do want to make some more seeds. So that's a thing to consider. Escargot. How many can we make of you? Hmm, not enough yet. Okay, we've still got some geodes to process. We've got some copper bars and things, so hopefully we can, you know, maybe fix some things <laughs> that uh, were broken somehow, reasonably, <laughs> by me. Ooh. Thank you for this little treat, guess. An omelet. I appreciate it. Onward, Mr. Red. We must collect garbage and turn it into treasure. Okay, apparently my inventory's not full. Great. Just great. We'll do this. After we get off Mr. Red. There we go. Okay. So yeah, we've got various things we can do. Let's pick these up. Okay, and now we can try to expand, I think, our uh, super cucumber. So hopefully that'll work out. You go in there, you go in there. Actually, you know what? We're going to take you back into the kitchen. Same with these coconuts. Why not? Yeah. The jade was going to be for our friend Sandy. Yep. I think we're doing all right. Okay, Mr. Red. I'm going to pick that up. And then... Anything I want to put in here real fast. Hmm. Why don't we consider the fact that Christopher should go in there? Okay. Considered. And then we can go pick these up. Wrong thing. Of course. Just don't click the bomb by accident. Okay. A little more aware of that now. Okay. Where'd that big? Oh, there it is. And then we'll go check what our fish want, and hopefully we'll have it. Unlike that granite. Don't know why we still can't find granite. Okay, bring honey. Alright, that should be pretty easy. Unless I blew up the honey. Like I did the honey prediction. But yeah. Hmm. Okay, Mr. Red. We go over here. Put this away. And then we think for a second. We've got 11 milk. 
we'll go over here. We've got the uh, hoe again, so we can actually do that. And then, you know, we can take that back to our place as well. So we will. It's good to get ready for things. Okay, you go in here, you go in here. Hmm. That's cargo in there. Alright. So, while we're thinking about things. So for the bee house, we need more wood, iron bars, and maple syrup. Which we do have. I just have to go back to our little place. Okay. So the main thing is wood, iron bars, maple syrup, and then we'll probably need a lot more coal. So, Feast of the Winter Star has begun. We need to give Russ his water. Good boy, Russ. Okay, and then we need to put some stuff in, like this crystal fruit. Crystal fruit, go. Oh, and apparently coffee and triple shot espresso, their speed buffs can stack on pretty much anything. So, that's cool. Hmm. Anything else we really need to do? Um, well, let's make these seeds. While I am here... Like... Okay, and then maybe we can get stuff for Krobus while we're out here. Break that. Hello, everyone. And you know what? I bet Marnie's <laughs> not at her place again. Hey, Chocobo. I'm trying to get that egg. But that's okay. It can wait. We will slowly weave our way through all the chickens and ducks and rabbits and fun people. I guess technically not people, but you know. It works. Alright then. Yoink. Hmm. What else do we potentially want to make into a duck or thing? Hmm. Yeah, I guess we want another duck. Okay. Duck egg away. Boink. All right, everyone. We will be back. Let's take a stack of four and a stack of two. We gotta get to see Sandy. And then we'll go back to the Feast of the Winter Star. That's currently what I'm thinking, right? Or did we already give Sandy two gifts? Hmm. No. Okay. I've got the jade for her. And I figured out what that dude in the black suit is actually there for. I don't want to spoil anything. <laughs> but hey, you know. Learning things on the internet. Go figure. You learn the wrong things while you're looking for uh, answers. So, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Ah, well. We'll do this. And then I think we'll still have time to say hi to all of our little guys in here. Hello, everyone. And then we should be able to still make the Feast of the Winter Star. Alright, everybody. I hope you enjoy your day. No, don't drink the milk. Okay, now I can interact with it. Interesting. So, can I actually put you back in? No. Hmm. So, the auto grabber inventory is not as kind. <laughs> Alright. Fair enough. Okay, Mr. Red. It's time to get going. Time to see a friend of mine. Do, 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 Okay. More quit. <clears throat> yep. There's a wild honey. I don't think I need that many. Where did I put Mr. Ed anyway? Mr. Ed? Yeah, I brought you... I brought you a wild honey. I guess I have to throw it in. There we go. Hey, look, it's wild honey. Just what we needed. And where did I put you, Mr. Ed? Hmm, I'm crazy. Good enough. 
We will run. No rust. Too bad there's not like a horse whistle. That would be nice. Uh, we'll try to come back and see Sandy, I guess. We're probably not going to try to explore the cave too much. Beast of the Winter Star. Give Lewis his secret gift. Boink. Oh, so it's you. Ah, oh, a hot pepper. Thanks. Wait, how did you... Did you have, like, pre-written secret gift notes and things? That's cool. Aw. Marnie got me something. Is it an auto-grabber, Marnie? <laughs> I've only wanted one for so long. Hey, Chowdown. I'm your secret gift giver this year. Here, open it. Sounds like a plan to me. An A. Oh, 12 eggs. Well, thank you, Martin. That is good. It's not much, but I hope you like it. No, thanks, Marty. That was nice. All right, let's say hi to everyone again. A new camera, eh? <laughs> Under the spirit tree. Hmm. A pair of stylish boots that give me plus 18 defense. That would be great. Uh, how about a jug of spice meat? Ooh, that sounds nice. Make sure to give me a taste. I'm thankful there were no medical emergencies this year. Indeed. Gus was just telling me about his artisan candy canes. Hmm. Oh, she's not happy with artisan candy canes. It's a fine art making candy canes. You really gotta search far and wide for the best ingredients. They aren't easy to come by these days. I know one of the semi-mythological meanings behind the candy cane, or at least like one of the stories, is that it's supposed to stand for the shepherd, Jesus Christ. For the flock of you know christians and stuff and the red is his blood that was spilled the white is his purity that's one of the stories behind the meaning of candy canes hmm. why hello gentlemen it's chilly isn't it <sighs> all these happy families but for me just another lonely year well maybe clint it's time to expand thy horizons maybe travel to the city some go to a mixer or something i don't know I've met some people who believe in spirits and magic, but me, I've never seen anything that couldn't be explained by science. Fair enough. Ooh, I've had too much knock. <laughs> oh man. My sales figures have been phenomenal lately, thanks to the Beast of the Winter Star. Ah, indeed. Season, and it keeps on giving. Economically, as well, I suppose. Nothing like a piping hot beast on a cold winter's day, huh? Wait, where'd Maru go, anyway? I'm still upset I didn't win the ice fishing competition. Aw, oh, poor Pam. What a beautiful tree. Oh, Chaz is just looking at the presents. Oh, presents. Welcome to the Feast of the Winter Star. And then we already talked to Mayor Lewis. And nobody's up there, right? Because it's all blocked off. Okay. Let's go talk to Willie. Do you want to hear the legend of the Winter Star? Yeah. In the night sky of winter, there is a bright star only visible from this valley. No one knows why this is, but in times of old, people would come from far and wide to see it. They believed that anyone who laid eyes on the winter star would be blessed with good fortune. Some even claim that the mysterious fruit known as star drop is connected to the winter star in some way. Oh, I wonder if I, uh, if I buy that from Krobus, will something happen? Hmm. Hey, good afternoon. Oh, there's Mark. Hi, Jalma. You're welcome to join our family table if you need company. Sounds great to me. Hey, John. I'm ready to head home whenever you are. No, it's time for the turkey. Spending time with family is tiring sometimes. You know. That's true, but it's a good thing. I'll probably get another tool set this year. <sighs> I would have thought you'd like another tool set. I'd draw it in, but I don't think I'm welcome. You're certainly welcome, Linus. Join us at the family table. Look. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Happy feasting. Can we open presents now? It's a very good question. I already did, so you should be able to. I'm thankful for my guitar and my skateboard. Oh, and my family, I guess. Oh, Sam. It's not a good time of year for a diet. That is true. Oh, hello. How's it going? 
Oh my, aren't you cold, dear? It's freezing. A feast for some stupid star humbug. <laughs> oh, George. Alright, well, I think we're all done here. Unless I can go visit Krubis, which I can't because it's blocked off. Okay. Let's leave, and then maybe come back and visit Krobus. I don't think I have any void eggs on me, but we'll do that. Should be what, 2 p.m.? 10 p.m. Well, never mind, Zaddy. We're not saying hi to you tonight. Uh, I might still be able to find Krobus, though. Hmm. Okay, well, 12 eggs. I should put you by the eggs. Mm, we've got the row, we've got the coffee. Okie dokie. Well then, let's go over here and sell some stuff. Like that. And then, you, cheese as well. We'll pick up all these things. Like. Then we have these 12 eggs on hand. It's almost like they knew I had six of these. And then we go over here, sell some more stuff, make some more moolah. Okay. You know, why is it called moolah? I'm just wondering now. <laughs> because now that we're making cheese and stuff, it's like, huh. Why isn't cheese called moolah? Why is money called moolah? Hmm. Anything else we want to do other than make stuff? We might go to the mine, but for now, let's go water everything, because I really should. Okie dokie. So yeah, I need to pluck some more fruits as well. So we should do that. And I think we're pretty happy with the number of cactus fruits we're getting, so I am going to rip up these three. Somehow. No, well, hmm. Okay, maybe I'm not. <laughs> okay, pickaxe. So we got those three recently. And we'll go pluck some more stuff. And then we'll put it away for a rainy day. Alright, we got our sunflower and some seeds. Uh, I really don't think we need more stuff in that sense. We've got some rhubarb here. We've got some more star fruit, which we do want. Hmm. And then we've got the sugar beets that we don't need anymore. We have a ton of that. But we do want the yams. And we want these for the money. Yunk. Okay. We've got all that. Then we've got coffee beans. Apparently only a few of them. Okay, we've got wheat. And some strawberries as well. Hmm. I'm gonna put you away. And coffee beans. Yeah. And I have some more cheese I can sell after this, so I'll just put that away for now. Strawberry. We got you. Garlic, there we go. We needed more of them. Uh, we can stack those. That's good. Put the strawberries away. Alright. I think it is about time to just start oh, I don't know. Harvesting everything. There we go. Hey. Can go in here. Same with you. Okay. So we can make some more flour. And there's no more room in here. Hmm. I'd rather not just toss anything. Alright. Well, let's just water everything then. And then after this, we should just head to bed. Okay. That took longer than I thought to harvest everything. Walking back and forth. Who knew? Okay.
I mean, I could just fall asleep out here. Hmm. But I'm pretty sure my would worry, so let's just head home. The efficiency was not had this day. <laughs> oh, well, Mayor Lewis was happy, so that's fine. Well, dear viewer, leave a like if you've enjoyed Stardew Valley. Subscribe to see me falling asleep on bears more often. And stuff like that. And showcases and reviews and other types of videos and things. Oh, that's a lot of money, though. I appreciate it. Yay. And I hope you have a great day, dear viewers.